How do you do, everybody? My name is Kev Gooey, and welcome back to Bayonetta 3 Trilogies, ending on the third and final game, Bayonetta 3. So apparently this is side chapter one, the Crimson Shadow. Thought it was gonna be like a huge turning point in the story, that's why it's blue, but apparently nah, I don't think so. Or maybe it is, I don't know. But uh yeah, let's find out. After I save. And go to the store. Let's get down to business. Got this outfit. Why do I, why do I keep saving? Which is rest? I keep I keep saving by accident. Okay, this old picture book. I know it has to be something important, and then I feel like these are important as well. But what the heck? Oh wait, this is a three D model to the gallery. Okay, so the gallery is well, the gallery. So. I, I, I was an idiot. I was like, why, why, why am I looking at my, why am I looking at my, uh, my web, my, my screen with my webcam on? I had the preview on because I was uh, testing the, uh, when I was zooming in on the, the, the images. Oh yeah, and I got the three witch bewitchments and nothing happened. So I don't know what those are for. Unless I have to get all of them. All right, let's find out what this uh, side chapter thing is. Hope it's good, maybe. But I mean, yeah, this was new. That's why I, this is what I zoomed in on. I think that's the future Eiffel Tower. Uh, this guy in the back, no idea who he is. No idea. He's just some creeper. Clock stage? The monkey. Is that an actual band or something? The loser's howling. Uh, Nick M4? Or, uh,. Nick M4 or um I don't know. I don't know what that is. Butterfly beautiful, butterfly beautiful. Maybe it's the uh, Nick M4, like you know when you uh, uh nick something, like steal it. But then as a wolf, so I have no idea what it means. Let's check this. Side chapter one, the Crimson Shadow. Wait, the Crimson Shadow. Crimson Shadow, Red Shadow, uh... Okay, so it has to do something relating to, um, to destroying the, the Bayonettas in the out, in the, uh, other timeline. When, because they are, they always chip red, right? Their, their, their skin always chips red, like, you know, like, a like, a. Like one of those glass windows, the, 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 uh, like, uh, artwork 
the, the, the artwork, uh, the art uh, painted glass windows, you know, in like churches. Kind of like those um, when they start chipping away, um, when they kind of like, you know, disappear and stuff like that. Or die. I think they die. I actually don't know. But I mean, yeah, they do die, but I don't know if it's because of the chipping away or something. All right, anyways, let's start this. Goodbye, me. Oh, okay, so there, it's, it's a cutscene because there's no one here. Oh, okay. This is, uh, <laughs> Damn homunculi beat me to the punch. Lucky for them, I'm not looking for a fight. I don't like this John different. While they hammer on the front door, I'll make my way in from above. been disconnected. This base is no mere task. All right then, I'll take care of these bastards myself. Oh, I was muted the whole time. Uh, I, uh, I literally said that was cool. And, um... And then, okay, okay, when the, they showed this, the, the image of the, the map. Okay, so... I, I guess, I mean, they, they kept, they kept it consistent with her. I still don't like her face and Bayonetta's face because they, they are literally very different compared to Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2. Um, especially Jean. Jean looks like a... Uh, like a... like a whore. <laughs> like a whore. Uh, the, the, the way they made her, I don't know why they made her like that. I mean, the, the original, the original Jean looks much better than this Jean. Um, 
but yeah, the, but what I meant was that they kept it consistent as in like she does her her clothes are not made of her hair. So when she does her uh demon summons, uh, you know, she, her her clothes don't you know just uh, that you know they, it doesn't disappear. It doesn't like get removed. So, that, so does that mean like like her witch, her uh, her spell casting or, or witchcraft is not as strong? Her magic isn't as strong? If that's the case, I don't know. But anyways, sealed off magic. A special field running through the, throughout the base interferes with John's maggot. Uh, ma maggot, yes, maggot, ma maggot, magic. So, uh, I was thinking like an EMP, but it's more like a... Uh... I don't know, like an MMP or something, I don't know. The magical magic... Oh. Avoid conflict. What? What is this? Is this, is this a stealth game? It's like they took this out of an indie game. What indie game did they take this from? What indie, what indie game is this that, that that's stealth? I know there's an indie game that's stealth. I don't remember what, what game it was. In, uh, Infernal Demons can't be summoned, but you can hide in ducks and behind doors to avoid detection. Uh-huh. So to tag enemies from behind while I notice you take them out with one shot, which will also activate witch time. On site procurement, powerful weapons can be found in behind doors, shoot them with Y. Yeah, there was there was a game that literally is literally just like this. I don't I forgot the game's name. Oh, I have a timer. Oh. Oh, it's just a map, by the way. So. I quite like Metal Gear, but bearings. close enough. No, it's it, it's not Metal Gear. It's 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 an indie game. I know that came out. Yeah, and 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 it. And it also uh, reflects bullets like this. Dang it, what game is it? <laughs> also, she has the centipede within. How does that work? Because the centipede within... Wait, centipede within? Actually, you know, yeah, when, when did she get that? When did she get the centipede within? Because, um, Bayonetta got the eel within, right? The eel within in, uh, in Bayonetta 2. I can't press, uh, I can't press, um, select button. Now. Okay. You adjust in the way. Oh, I just had to do that. Huh. Wait, they're shooting him? It makes it go away? Okay, that's, I don't, I don't know. Huh. Oh yeah, see, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is, this, this, I, I, what game is this? I don't remember. Hi. 
You guys saw that? You guys, you guys saw that bullet that is, is that was aimed at me? There's a giant hamburger by the way down there. Look at that. There's a giant hamburger. Oh. Okay. Easy. You're just in the way. can use this. No! Amateurs. Amateurs. Okay, I can't attack. That wasted a lot of ammo. Easy. You were just in the way. Now, amateurs. So I can literally just kill them when they just spawn? That's interesting. Easy. Amateurs. What? How did they see? How did... Did I go in when they already knew or what? What? Okay, it was broken. Yeah, take that, yes. This Samsa. Okay. Easy. You were just in the way. Oh yeah, this is the uh What's an image of... What? Is this supposed to trick them? <laughs> Easy. Good night. Wait, what? Is that, was that really supposed to try and trick them or something? <laughs> and did the robot really... Really just... No. You were just come from the way. guy's bathroom? Easy, 
Yeah, okay. If that somehow trick tricks the, the enemy, I, I I don't know what to say about that. That took a lot of health. Wow, okay. D don't, you know, d don't, uh, you know, don't, don't be under that. <laughs> don't be under that and, and get squished. At all. The whole facility is overrun. But from the looks of this equipment, it appears the doctor knew just what to expect. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what, what am I getting? I'm getting toilet paper, a hamburger. Am I to like go poop or something? I need to find time. I need to find time. I need to... Wait. No. The shadow remains I was having too much fun, actually. I was literally having so much fun just exploring, just playing the game like that. Oh, like, is there. Yeah, okay. Like, I was having a lot of fun to literally just play this uh, side scroll again. Because, yeah, it's different. Oh, come on, yeah. Come on, let's do this again. This guy ran really fast. I can use this. No, uh, no, I mean, the, no, I mean, the, there is nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, I, the, the timer, you know, literally, you know, right, right, literally right there, you know, right, right there, you know. <laughs> I literally forgot about that. Oh my gosh, can you just like... Easy. You're just in the way. Thank you, just get out of the way. Huh. Wait, is that a, wait, is that a flammable? Okay, never mind, I don't want to... Wait, what did, what did that do? Oh, they got my hearts up. <laughs> they went to the bathroom. No, amateurs. Amateurs. Wait, can I get more than one weapon? Perfect. Nope. Okay, never mind. 
Oh, it did explode. That's good to know. Easy. Good night. Now, you are just in the way. Okay, let's see how strong this uh, shotgun is. I can't, I can't aim diagonally down because, uh, you know, because, uh, yeah. Is that? I need a timer. Robot, what is that? The, the, the robot literally went in. in what? <laughs> the robot went inside to because there was a lady sharing. What? That is a pervy robot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, can that thing come any faster? Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, what? Well, okay. Dude, why do I shoot this? Okay. Well, I'm screwed. I mean, okay, I mean, think, think about it, a, a robot, I mean...
Like, I don't even know where that robot came from. The like, robot just like saw a lady shower and they decide to just, you know, open the open the uh, shower and then just go inside. Amateurs. <laughs> Some freaky creepy robot. I probably shouldn't shoot those. I feel like they are for the uh, the boss. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. What's this? Perfect. Oh, grenade launcher. Ooh. Now, the night. Grenade launcher or oh, they drop time. Oh. Easy. You were just in the way. Okay, before I go in there, I'm gonna actually use this and blow something up what the what no. oh i shot i, sh I shot it you know that th th this direction <laughs> okay oh i have to actually control this what how am i supposed to control this I can only go this, th this radius. What? Okay, good thing I went in there. Yeah, I want to see what this thing is now. Oh, wait, was that like the P or something? Those distant, oh. hear the sound. Those close by, see the spectacle. Evil doers, fear final justice. Because the platinum knight has arrived to defend the weak and innocent. QTJ is here. Oh. Oh. Uh. Alright, so it doesn't it doesn't help that I, you know. Oh, then I might run out. Oh, is, is it... uh. I don't know what that is, but I need to get it. The time. Easy. You just right, the right. Let's get inside. The shadow remains cast. I feel. I feel like whatever just happened was uh. It was like a Power Ranger thing. Easy. You were just in the what way. The? Okay, I don't know what happened there, but whatever. Can use this. 
Wait, this is a strong weapon. I don't know if this is a save point or something. It's always time to refresh. Now. Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, it really feels like, uh, you know. Ow. I hope this Dr. Sigurd managed to keep out of trouble. Wait, what? A combo meal. Um, <laughs> twenty through two hundred. 2317th place. I feel like I'm, I missed a chunk of stuff there. I, I feel like th there's, you know... Oh, find the hidden... Find the hidden waterway, find and defeat affinity? What? What's affinity? Defeat five homunculi while transformed into- Okay, yeah, I did, I did miss a lot of stuff there. outfit she is like what's what's that jacket she's wearing is, is that like is that actually called something or is that like actually uh an item or that's you know named after something or is it like an actual item a real item with a zipper on the back like that i actually don't know that's what i'm asking let me refresh the uh, thing Oh, so now I kind of understand what that crimson thing meant. Was it's literally just Rojan. Yeah. Yeah, I'll buy the pink one.
I kind of like this. I actually like it a lot better than well, that. The other one. You know, that looks, that looks pretty good. Okay, I don't, I don't like the contrast in that. I think that white works, yeah. Why is there two of these? But then, you know, the, the pink one has no other pink one. Oh yeah, let's let's just read some of these. Okay, not not. Devour of the divine. Monstrous dragon-like creature that lives in the forest of Inferno. It is incredibly fierce, fearing all that moves as prey and devouring it. Territorial, it is most it is most likely to be found alone. Relatively easy to handle it. If given angel flesh to chew on, Bayonetta summons it frequently, but anyone unaccustomed to their required magic is likely to get themselves swallowed instead, body and soul. Fire sack. Sharp claws. Question mark. Whose face is this wedged? Whoa. Whose face is this wedged in here? Is this Gamora? I'm looking at the question mark. <laughs> right, right, right here. Demon taking the form of a woman who left this world under unfortunate circumstances only to be reincarnated in hell. Counter to her beautiful swallowtail butterfly like appearance, this demon is particularly brutal, and her reputation is well known even among the denizens of Inferno. If a conjurer were to trade her soul to enter into a contract with Mad Madama Butterfly, the demon would impart upon her enormous power in great wisdom. Furthermore, a select few truly powerful witches can use the ancient art of the demon slave to control her power themselves. It appears that there is a bond between Bayonetta and Madama Butterfly and goes beyond the, the terms of their contract, but it is unknown how that contract came to be. Oh, okay, that's interesting to, to know. Mistress of Atrocity, Madama Butterfly. Legged. Nice to look at, but not to get stomped, kicked, kicked, or otherwise pummeled by. You know, I should actually read all these because, I mean, Viola wrote them, so they're, and they're kind of funny. Butterfly wings. I'm so jealous. Wish I could fly too. Did you make so many emoji faces? Arms. They're slim, but pack a punch. Her fist can solve any problem. I'm down with that. Oh. Wait, is that, wait, what? Wait, is she... Does that mean she, wait, I'm confused. Is she down with this thing or, or, or what, what is she talking about? <laughs> what is she talking about here? I don't, I don't know what she's talking about. She, she took a double entendre there. It, 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 uh, it's confusing. She's 15 meters tall. She weighs 18 tons. Holy. Earthplace Inferno, special skill, assorted brutality. Footprint, the, the high heel. Age, over 500 years old. Okay. 
Uh, fire sec. I think it stores energy here to turn to fire breath. Uh huh? Sharp claws. These claws can rip through anything without them. I think these paws would be cute. But, yeah. Birthplace Johnson Forest. Special skill climbing sliding. <laughs> what? In this way, in, in this thing weighs 5,000 tons. Gotcha. I mean, it's a dinosaur. Spawn of Devastation, Sin Gamora. Gamora's completely uninhi uninhibited form, pushed to the limits of its power by Bayonetta during the death deadly Sin trial, or ritual. This form uh, uh, re resembles the legendary beast tyrant spoken of in Forbidden Tomes, a mountainous creature rumored to live deep within the Johnson Forest of Inferno. This beast tyrant was said to rule all, uh, over all of the Gamora and Johnson Forest and could make all of the demons in the forest bow simply by raising its head. But not even the residents of Inferno have managed to see it and live to tell the tale. Interesting. Giant mouth. It shoots lasers out of here. Just how big can this thing's mouth get? I don't know. I'm the, with its mouth open like that, it kind of either looks like a butthole or, you know... The JJ. I don't know. I mean, it, it. I don't know why its mouth is open like that. Anyways, thick leg. These things could find a skyscraper. Uh, back spikes. I think it uses these to absorb energy and blow out heat. Okay. Dragon fire. Questionable context. <laughs> I don't know, I mean... Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, you know, saying it as I see it. Special skills, mass destruction. Spinner of Flame, Phantasma, Renaya. 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 An infernal demon that nests upon a sea of magma deep within the furthest reaches of inferno. Rarely seen on the surface, even in hell settings of the demon are a rare event, which led the residents of Inferno to give it the name Phantasma Renea. Meaning Phantom Spider. While having the frightening appearance of a gigantic spider, it is a re relatively good natured beast, and should one have the good fortune to encounter Phantasma Renea? It should be treated with care and respect in hopes of receiving rare treasures and secrets in return. However, should you anger it, you will be melted instantly by an in indignantly spewed burst of magma. Tail. Okay, seriously, is it some kind of spider scorpion? Well, it may look scary, but it's actually a secret sweetie. Face guard. Maybe it's a shy guy, but I think it's beady little eyes are adorable. Drawing pincers. So is it a spider? Some kind of crab. And that name is way too long. Can anyone actually say the whole thing right? Birthplace. Valeris Sea of Magma. Special skill. Imparting knowledge. Age over a billion years old. Oh. Okay. Whisper of insanity. Alron. Or Alron. A woman from a noble family who drowning a dis drowning in despair after being abandoned by her husband swallowed, swallowed Mandrake poison and took her own life. The Mandrake was like a mythical I guess, I mean I guess it makes sense, it's, you know, the mythical world and all that. Anyways, even after death, the poison continued to devour her soul, and at the height of being consumed by delusions and hallucinations, she was at least she was at last reincarnated in 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 Inferno as a demon. Interesting. With the with the virulent poison coursing through her entire body, even a slight rest from her is said to mean certain death. Oh, so don't get caressed by her. Underst understood. Right. Okay. 
She constantly, she constantly searches reality for the most beautiful creatures. Be they human, angel, or demon. And then injects poison into their nerves to make them unmoving eternal lovers. To decorate her palace. So like taxidermy, kind of. Insatiable desire and obsession have painted her heart so thickly that she would never know peace. Not even with the sacrifice of a thousand souls or a million. A monstrous body, that's one bottom heavy girl. Can she even find clothes that fit? Why would she need clothes? She's clearly like covered in scales. Tail Needle. She apparently jabs that thing into her enemies and drains them dry. Rose. So kind of like so. You know, in Dragon Ball Z. Stomach. She slowly digests stuff in there, including Jean. At one point, I absolutely do not want to see the inside. Uh, birthplace Inferno, special skill, blandness detection. <laughs> blandness detection. Okay. Well, she definitely upgraded, you know. I guess. I mean, she got turned into a weapon, and then she got, and then, and then we've been, then she somehow got her body back, and then she, uh, got, and then she, and then we took her and got her weapons, but the demon is okay. I'm kind of confused with, like, how, how she, you know, is okay or change or whatever. Maybe they have beef with each other because, well, I mean, Madame Butterfly can actually, you know, move and do, you know, she, she's literally, uh, you know, she looks, she looks human, you know, while, you know, uh, our wound is not really. A dragon fire, ouch, there's some static and an awful pitching from the mic. Like right now or what? What happened? With, like, Oh really? While well, I was reading? Oh. Did it last long or like what like how or or like what 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 happened? <laughs> I feel like it might be from uh, when I was talking, I was moving the mic or something. It probably was, it was the, 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 well, the, the mic boom arm, probably. Oh, these are affinities? Okay, and that's uh, the lobby. Okay. Flavor of hatred hideous. But they don't have any funny uh, stuff. Why do they need footprints? Like, what's the point of the footprint? It's not like a footprint of their feet. It's like a, the footprint of their shoe. Okay, <laughs> I don't understand. Like, what? Like, how? Like, what are they gonna use that for? I'm still getting the details. Special skill: condemnation staff. Okay. There's a skill mercy strike. Okay. Right. Uh, 
uh, birthplace mail bulge. <laughs> Wait, what mail bulge? <laughs> okay, special skill death pledge. Okay, hey, birthplace fools graveyard special skill absolute execution. Okay. Photon blade, photon cannon. Wait, you're a bio plant? Okay. Tracking manipulator, gel eater, Bilbo baggins. Wait, no, sorry. Uh, Bilbo rocket, order divide, gravity control, gigaboard charge. Playback Dimension? Wait, Oceana Power Plant? Okay. Poison Fog. Transmission Spectre. Aqua Breath. Really? Aqua Breath? Cosmic Liner. Okay, interesting. Sigrid, Demon Slave. Viola, New York City. Training, Cheshire. Wait, age 18 years? Estimated? What does that mean? Okay, estimated? Okay, I, I don't know about... Okay, um... What is okay? What does estimated actually mean? Okay. Anyways, a young woman of unknown origin who suddenly fell from the sky, gave me from a home world just before it was extinguished, and is making her way to Bayonetta's world. She uses her katana and magic to fight, but her abilities have yet to reach their full potential. Perhaps due to being self-conscious about this, she has an exceptionally strong need to show off her power and takes on situations with an aggressive, almost competitive recklessness. Iola is cheerful, open, and bursting with energy, which comes through in her punk fashion and is emphasized by her trademark Torture cats. Ah. So that's what that, uh. That, uh. Bobblehead, I guess? Was it. Did it look like a bobblehead? Is that bobblehead? A toy? Or something? I don't know. T shirt that features a character from the popular cartoon. I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of cartoon that just says torture cats. You know? It's. I don't know. Her cherished katana, Mab Dachi, with a blade over three feet long, is said to be able to cut through not only physical matter, but also spiritual matter with one slice. And is the key to Viola's close combat, fighting style, and skill. Wait, so like... Metal Gear Revengeance? Thing? The blade is also inhabited. By Cheshire, a small infernal demon who's not only ready to tag into battle at the first sign from Viola, but, also, but who can also sense when she's in trouble and lend claw, demonstrating a mysterious bond that goes beyond the usual human slash demon relationship. Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's Cheshire. Oh, I guess the estimated means is i guess because she fell from the sky they don't really know i guess like how much did you weigh for 64 kilograms i just don't know i mean eight meters high or tall i mean special skills training cheshire what huh
number of which who together with Bayonetta survived the witch hunts of 500 years ago. She possesses magic power and power with that of Bayonetta is able to expertly use a variety of magic arts. Just advanced attack and summoning magic. J uh, John is the only person Bayonetta trusts to watch her back and they have saved each other's lives numerous times. While the path of Bayonetta's magical instruction has been rather unconventional, John has been trained in the orthodox Umbran way and her battles battle style is, is both beautiful and exact. Oh, that's why she doesn't use her, use her hair for summoning or clothes or whatever. Okay. How many Jean spends spends her days as a high school teacher? What high school teacher? But she, she but she occasionally dons a special mask to become Cutie J and protects humanity from otherworldly threats. Wait, hold on. I got it wrong. She's not a Power Ranger. She's Say a man. <laughs> that's what literally. That's what literally say a man does. It's just, it's just literally say a man. <laughs> it's literally say a man. <laughs> oh. While well, Bayonetta takes on the task of retrieving the Chaos Gear, said to be the key to saving the world, Jean herself infiltrates a classified research facility to search to secure Dr. Sigurd, who holds valuable information about the Chaos Gears. Luca Redgrave. Okay. A freelance journalist who appears and disappears. Wait, hold on. I didn't read the rest. Uh, birthplace, Vagrid, special skill, Cutie Art, which is over 500 years old. Okay. Bayonetta over 500 years old. Okay. A freelance journalist who appears and disappears unexpectedly as he circles the globe, driven by his passion, passionate search for the truth. Thus far, he has unraveled many mysteries, such as the truth behind his own father's death, the history of the Umbra witches and Lumen sages, and the legend of the god of chaos, all with a recklessness that makes him seem almost possessed. And whether aware of the world's imminent collapse or no, his drive to discover the truth has brought him to the previously undiscovered shores of Thule. First words out of his mouth tend to be filled. What? First words out of his mouth tend to be empty flirtation. I don't know where I got filled from. But his initiative, boldness, and instincts for snatching victory from the jaws of defeat impress even Bayonetta. Over the course of their long and seemingly destined relationship, they become bound together by an emotion that goes beyond simple trust. With Luca being the only man in the world who can get away with calling her Sarasita. Or, you know, also Loki, but you know, that. You know, just forget about Loki, you know, because, you know, Loki's not here right now. His encounter with Bayonetta and Viola on this island, which holds the key to saving the world, couldn't have been a mere coincidence. Except the fact that, you know, uh, he hasn't encountered, you know. Wait, has he? No, he hasn't. He hasn't encountered Bayonetta or Viola, so this is big spoilers that they're going to encounter. Okay, that's great. Third place unknown. Let's just go. Grappling, midair, and tricks. Gotcha. Wait, estimated? Wait, what do you mean estimated 30 years old? What do you mean estimated now? I'm going to... Hmm. Rodan, Armsmith Supreme, wait, the Driven Journalist. A brawny figure who owns and operates a seedy bar known as the Gates of Hell. Nestled in a secluded corner of the city away from prying eyes. Contrary to his imposing appearance, Rodan has a smooth, affable demeanor. Unless you give him that, uh, go that platinum ticket, which he becomes uh, literally saying. <laughs> and will demolish you. Instantly. However, the cold light that burns behind his sunglasses has been known to silence many a self-styled tough guy. 
with a single glance. He provides a variety of goods and services to those he forms a re rapport with. Ranging from food to weapons and even seemingly out of the other worldly treasures, he has a selection of sides about an enchanted circle. He's sometimes known as the Infernal Gunsmith. Rodan is, no, is knowledgeable about current, power, current events in Paradiso and Inferno as well as their histories. And he is frequently sought out when there is trouble of an occult nature and as he is not originally a resident of the world of chaos, he doesn't have any counterparts in the multiverse, but he's rumored to deal weapons to customers on other worlds as well. I think I think we read this already. Oh well. Bartending with bartending with the flare. Weight 9.48 UWW. I don't know what that is. Height 14.666 UWH. I know what the 666 means. <laughs> Bumbling broker Enzo. Oh, here we go. I mean, we can skip, you know, the band. Uh, we, can, we can skip Enzo, you know, Enzo's end. The street smart witch Bayonetta B1. The Bayonetta counterpart encountered on the first parallel world Bayonetta visit. She battles commanding she battles commanding the infernal demon Phantasma Phantasma Renea, the Phantom Spider, and uses the Ignis Array uh, Aranea yo yo that channels the power. With the base of operations in Shibuya, she fights alone against the oncoming homunculus invasion. Wait, what? Wait, the Bayonetta counterpart encountered the first parallel world Bayonetta visits. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Hey, wait, Bayonetta visits the, the parallel wor world. What? Huh? Oh wait, was that was that one time where she was like. Oh, is it, oh, it's 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 every time those uh, the, the whenever she like goes through the um those weird things and, and then she and then the out, out, alternative uh, path uh, you know appears. I think I think that's what that means. And my neck is stiff because so I'm trying to like move it around to try and crack it or something, but. You just feel stiff. Okay, Twilight Spawner Strider, a strange creature that isn't angel, demon, or human, but seems to be some kind of beast man. Possessed by a durable body that can even shake off bullets, it moves with a predator's rough agility, refusing to be still. It is also extremely brutal, and once it has its sights set on its prey, its instincts for uh, battle remain a honed as it attacks relentlessly, tearing it apart with sharp claws and fangs. Oh, okay. Special skill, Mirage Glass. Well, you know what? Might as well, you know, read Enzo's because, you know, the last one. An information broker who makes a living catering to the New York underworld, pulling strings to get a little something for himself. Keeping his ears to the streets and below, he never fails to catch wind of a rumor and he can sniff out anything that could mean a payday. With luck, that would make even the denizens of Inferno and Paradiso reconsider their faith. He's managed to keep his cool in some truly dangerous dealing. As a side effect of his line of work, he's got an extremely foul mouth. But he loves his wife and kids dearly and indulges them whenever possible. Wait, does he have like seven kids or something? I don't know like, how many kids he has, but he is I don't know. I feel like he has a lot. In his give and take relationship with Bayonetta, he frequently skims a little off the top, but he also comes through with valuable information. After coming face to face with the dangers of the world's collapse, to just barely, and he barely, he just barely survives, and with his beloved family lost to his born. Wait, 
with the, but with his fam with beloved family lost, he is torn apart by grief. Man, I read that. Very wrong. When I see him keep a combo going after dodge by holding an attack button while pressing zero to dodge. Oh. Okay. I mean, uh, oh, okay, never mind. The hood's to review the basics of breaking heads. Just don't fuck the place up too much. <laughs> Wait, so do I have to be attacking first? Okay, let's try it then. I'm gonna do this one more time because I really feel like I'm missing something and I feel like if I find that hidden water pathway or whatever, I feel like it might lead us to like a different part of the map. I don't know actually, but I mean, I'm guessing here. Damn homunculi beat me to the punch. Lucky for them, I'm not looking for a fight. While they hammer on the front door, I'll make my way in from above.
assault line has been disconnected. This base is no mere tax target. <laughs> Amateurs. Perfect. There's a burn burn the master. Now. Good night. facility is overrun but from the looks of this equipment it appears the doctor knew just what to expect oh, what That's really interesting. Easy. You are just in the way. Amateurs, now the night. <laughs> Get out of here. Come on! Ha. I feel you. Easy. Huh. Now, you are just in the way. Amateurs. Just in the way. Hmm. Oh, well, okay, well, found it by accident. <laughs>
Is that, I actually thought it was supposed to like go into the, one of those like turbines or something, but apparently not. <laughs> At least it's only something. That's true. It's so weird. Why? Why, why does it go in? Time. Check the Really I can't I can get past it? What the heck? I hope this Dr. Sigurd managed to keep out of trouble. Oh, I I want to save Dr. Sigurd? Oh I kinda missed that. I, I I think I literally missed that at that point. Wait, hold on, what? Fine and defeat affinity? The, what huh? Oh, you mean oh hmm. Wait, Affinity? Wait, who's Affinity? Wait, are there any Affinities in there? I, I don't, I, I don't remember seeing an Affinity. Hmm. 
now. I can use this. Easy. Now. Good night. The whole facility is overrun. But from the looks of this equipment, it appears the doctor knew just what to expect. Now! Oh, South Korea is a big no-no. Oh, I see it. There's a cross off um Now, you're just in the way. Wait, here we're down. Easy. Good night. Do you take care of security? I don't think that's a, that's a affinity, I think that's something else, but I mean, I'm gonna try and kill it. Okay, well, that, I guess that was an affinity. I mean, I, I kind of figured it was an affinity, but I mean... I mean, where would affinity be? Don't feel it. Now, amateurs. I can use this. I have a feeling. I should probably uh, go down over here. Mm 
But I cannot exit. I literally cannot exit it. Oh, uh, there they actually leave the uh, building or something. Uh. Perfect. Easy. Excuse me. Now, why? Yeah, that was a big no-no with the uh, the cross stuff. Um. Oh, this is how I exit. Hold on. Get my bearings now. Oh, yeah, yep. I definitely need to get my bearings, uh, you know. Huh. How do I get. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. I can use this. Where can I find this dang affinity thing?
How did I trigger? And the issue is that I can't even look at the map or anything. I can't find this stupid thing. Ah! Wait, maybe. Oh. If But the thing is alive again, are you serious? Come on. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it right now. Oh, wait, it has to be here. It has to be. Easy. 
Yeah, I can't find the, this thing. Wait, I think I know where it is. Think. Not sure. I'm a face. What? Oh, I got full health. I was like, did I die? Yeah, I was kind of waiting for the, the timer to run out. So... Like, I've been, I've been thinking about it in my head. I think I know how to actually activate it. I think I know how... Oh wait, is that, is that there are a few things? One... Use all the women's bathrooms. Number one. Two... It could be unreachable. So, I would need... Yeah, which I would need this. No, not that, sorry. I would need... Yeah, see how it locks like that? So I'm thinking it could be somewhere unreachable. And then... I get my bearings now. <laughs> what?
<laughs> Dr. Sigurd managed to keep out of trouble. Alright, so I was kind of wrong about the bathroom thing. And also the the, the unreachable thing. I don't know, I, it, I think it just came out of nowhere. I'm not sure where it actually came from. Oh. Did anything change? That's the thing I'm kind of, I, I, I kind of wonder. Might have something special for you. Wait. Wait, causes enemies to drop seed? Wait, what is it? Wait, what? Seeds? of 20,000.
Okay, so I, 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 oh, I really thought, you know, something would have happened, but you know, apparently, apparently big, big fat no on that one. That drains enemy vitality. And it's called sweet nothing. Stopping power? Huh? It said that whoever rings this bell will be blessed with unexpected wealth. Wait, hold on, what? Then what, what the heck are seeds? If it, if, what? Oh, I also realized the, the, the stuff that we've been getting is literally like right there. We got two gears and one uh, thing. I don't know what, what was that? <laughs> Hold on. Gloves off. Think you can handle it. Let's try this. I thought this demon was a guy at first. Again, from the looks of this, I thought it was a guy. Ready for a hot time. Oh, 
Yeah, you know, are literally it feels like uh you know like 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 an ultimate you know <laughs> it's kind of weird yeah i wanted to read the seed thing and apparently i, I don't know what the heck the seed thing is But anyways, I'm going to end the episode here, everybody, for Bayonetta 3 Trilogy. Where, well, we, uh, we, we got a little bit farther. Uh, I, I, I was expecting to get a bit more farther, but, you know, I went. Um, I got sidetracked a lot. Or, uh, a lot. Um. Or at least we did finish the Bewitchments, which I believe, I think Bewitchments actually, uh, whoops, actually give, uh, the, the, the rings, or the halos. I think they actually give the halos. I don't know if that's actually true, but it feels like it, because every time, because every time, uh, we, like, completed more Bewitchments, or get, or, you know, completed the whole list of it, we, we have more halos, so I don't know if it's because of that, or not but anyways in the next episode we are in a new portion of the island and i'm guessing there's more uh, side quest stuff as well so anyways if you enjoyed this episode then please smash that like button subscribe down below for more awesome videos don't forget to ring that little bell to get notifications about uploads thank you everyone for watching this video now we'll see you all in the next one goodbye